Welcome to STEM Club. This is perfect for homeschooling or home educating families where each week we're going to do a simple experiment you can do at home, find out some of the science behind it and then challenge you to see if you can find out more. For this week's experiment, all you need is a balloon and an orange. You want to get a bit of orange peel and just cut off a bit very carefully without getting any of the orange inside. So you just want the peel. So be very careful with the knife. This is where the magic or the science happens. You're then going to fold the peel so some of the orange juice that's in the peel squirts onto your balloon. Let's give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I had to squeeze my orange peel a bit, but it popped. Oh my, like, do you know you could do that? I did not know that. The reason my balloon has popped is because the juice that's inside orange peel is called limonene. And that is a very similar solution to what rubber is made out of. They're both called non-polar. So when the orange peel juice goes onto the balloon, the rubber in the balloon kind of dissolves into the orange peel, which gives it a hole and the balloon pops. Now, limonene not only pops balloons, but it's also flammable. Now, you can show this by doing exactly the same, cutting off a bit of orange. So we just want the orange peel. So I've got just a section of orange and my candle. And we're gonna light the candle. Then we just need to turn the lights off so you'll be able to see what happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is just heat up our orange peel a bit with a candle. So I'm just gonna hold it over really carefully. If you're doing this at home, hold it. Right, once you've heated up your orange peel, then do exactly the same again, just squirt it. <laughs> and you can see the bright flame coming off. So that's a really cool experiment. Be very careful when you do this because obviously flames are dangerous. So we've made an observation that balloons will pop with limonene put on them. And then we've learned some of the science behind that because it dissolves. So what we can do now is think about another question we could ask and come up with your own hypothesis for this to be a real scientist. So I'd like you to try and think of something you could change in this experiment, just change one thing and then see if you can think what would happen. Now, in all honesty, I have had to do this experiment several times and that's because my balloon wasn't popping. So I changed the color of my balloon to work out which one would pop with the orange peel. And for some reason, only the blue one popped. But I actually, that was a science investigation I was doing. Using the Twinkle Science Investigation Plan, you'll be able to map out your ideas for your science investigation. Planning what things you're going to change, how you're going to do it, what your results are, and then what you learn. You might like to do your own investigation where you change the colour of the balloon or the type of balloon you are using to see if it pops. You might want to try the different substance you put on it. Lemons are quite similar to oranges, um, so I'm going to see if that does anything to our balloon. Oh, this one's not working. The lemon juice isn't making this pop at all. I wonder what other fruits you could try. <laughs> so this one didn't pop as quickly so that suggests that there isn't as much limonene in lemons as there is in oranges i'm really looking forward to seeing what experiments you get up to so follow the link below to share in our stem club facebook group and we look forward to seeing you next week for more stem fun